Why do you work here? Why do I work here, Barefoot? Yeah. Well, it's not the pay, I can tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> tell me stories, tell me some things. Why do I work at Barefoot? Uh, my wife, who was not my wife at that time, but my wife found Barefoot. And um, I was at a point in my life where I was returning to the closest thing I have to, I, you know, stress was like really, really high. I had decided to leave an industry that I worked for for many years, which was health food. Mm. And um, I loved it, but I wanted to do something better or bigger or just something where I could help more people. And I didn't know what to do. I was driving a limo. My neck was shot out. Um, I was in pain. I was irritable. I wasn't sleeping. I was up at like all hours of the night. And Faith had come to me multiple times and just been like, Richie, you can't keep doing this to yourself. You're not you. You're like freaking out. You're irritable. You're not yourself. So she saw Dr. Chris's Facebook post about, you know, do you, do you have a big heart and are you a master of sales? So she sent it along to me and I'm thinking to myself the whole time, like, I have a big heart, but I don't know about a master of sales. So I reached out to Chris and I sent him his thing and my, my resume and, and he called me in like five minutes. It was sweet. Beautiful. Yeah, and that's how I ended up here. What was your experience when you got here? I loved it. Um, <laughs> Chris just looked at me and he was like, all right, guy you in this and i was like you better believe i'm in this i love what you guys do because i wasn't a licensed massage therapist in the state before mm -hmm. the health food three went through the middle of it and um yeah just getting an opportunity to back up people that i know are treating patients better than anyone else is is pretty freaking amazing had you had treatment at that time uh for my neck mm -hmm. no i had not oh no dr joe was the one that walked in here and was just like he saw me like this on the phone one day, just like trying to figure out what I was doing and getting it all together. And he was like, what's wrong with your neck? And I was like, it's not my neck, it's my shoulder. Mm. And he was like, it's your neck. And I was like, <laughs> okay, you're the boss. And he told me and diagnosed me and treated me. And in about eight sessions, he had disappeared two and a half years of some pretty nasty oh, things huge. since I had finished hiking. So you believed in them before you got treatment? Huh? Like you believed that they were helping people even before getting treatment then? Who's that? Um, the doctor. Oh, here. Apparently. Yeah. Well, I knew just from the terminology and techniques because I had oh. I had a background in massage. I know what what I did to break up scar tissue. I knew what things like muscle energy techniques were. I know the smallest piece of the musculature. I was very interested in the anatomy and physiology. So not just the pieces and parts in anatomy, but also how we work. So when I learned that they were treating pathology around musculature, which is how you go. You can have all the problem you want within a joint. You can have as much degeneration as you want, but if this doesn't allow you to go, your muscles, the part that make you move, then you're gonna have dysfunctional movement. And so for me, it's a no-brainer. I know 100% from my own experience. Yeah. Peter, hey, Greg. We're just recording a video on that. You're part of it now, <laughs> inexorably a part of it. Beautiful. What do you do most days now that you work at Barefoot? I talk to patients. Um, I help uh, coach uh, people within, you know, the office or patients or um, my partner. Uh, we go back and forth. We teach each other stuff. Um, yeah. Are you ever barefoot at Barefoot? <laughs> Sorry. I'm Meryl and my legs aren't crossed because that's not proper posture. <laughs>